Bang! Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News. Your daily cryptocurrency and blockchain aggregated news on YouTube. Look, look, it's gonna be drinking. Look, look, smoking. Look, look, swearing. You've been warned, because here I come three. Look, look, two. Look, look, one. Bang! Welcome, everyone. My name is Shamar Clark. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, the greatest show on earth, the greatest show in the multiverse. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> look, look, someone's got to do it. Now, we got a great show for you today, brothers. Oh, we have a great one today. So we're going to start out with, so this is a strange little story. So, all right, so the first story is Binance US ban canceled? Question mark, you know, canceled? Is it? Is it really? We're going to read and find out. Have they really banned Americans? Let's find out. Because the website changed. So we'll go like that. Then, bang! Goldman Sachs. Y'all know who Goldman Sachs is? Mega bank. Mega monster. Bang! They're advising their clients to buy Bitcoin. Look! We're going to talk about that. Oh, brothers. Oh, brothers. And then the beauty. The beauty. Here it comes. Here it comes, brothers. Bang! Backed has been cleared for launch. Physically settled futures. Big money. Big money. Liquidity. Creating scarcity. And it's for real. How do you know, Shamari? Oh, believe me. Because I went to look. I went to look and I found the proof. And I have the proof for you. It's real. Backed is coming. Nothing's going to stop it. We are all systems go. Oh, yeah. So let's get right up into this motherfucker. I want to get over to the backstory real quick. Look, look, brothers. So look, look, brothers. Bye. Look, look. Bang. Yes. All right, what are you dealing with? Yes, do a refresh. We got what we got. What we got here. All right, ten. All right, Bitcoin, ten thousand four hundred six dollars on the Bitcoin brothers and sisters. All right. Last night when I left you, we were at one thousand one hundred thirty-two. So we went up a couple hundred bucks there, a few hundred bucks. What do you call that? Two hundred and seventy bucks or so. All right. All right. All right. Top ten of the day, brothers. <clears throat> Usual suspects of the day, brothers. Top ten of the day. Wait one second. Let me make sure that. You know, I just want to make sure this is recording. <laughs> I pressed this button a second ago there. I, wasn't, I want to make sure. All right, look, look. Top 10 of the day, brothers. Usual suspects, brothers. Top 10. Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Binance Coin, Tether, EOS, Bitcoin, SVN. Monero takes back the number 10. Yes, battling. Battling. Look, look. Oh, look at this little green. Wow, exactly. A little green. All right, well, still single digits up, single digits down. So, mark moves of the day, brothers. Single digits up, single digits down. Hey, one second. Uh, single digits up, single digits down. Single digits up, single digits down. Oh, look at that V chain. Oh, for 4,500. You get yourself a million V chain right now. When that shit hits a buck, well, you're a millionaire. Look, look. Single digits up, single digits down. Two single digits up. Mm -mm. Two single digits down. All right, let's look who lost money today. You see anything here you like, you go get it because it is on sale. Boom. Oh, okay, not much. Yes. Yes, minuscule, in fact. All right, then. Uh, top 10 lose of the day, brothers. Top 10, X-Max, Japan Content, Igrisha, Icon, Holo, Ren, Aurora, Komodo, Wax, V, and V Systems. Bang, let's see who made money today, brothers. Boom. Top 10 wins of the day, brothers. Lisk, Verge, Bytecoin, Maker, Quant, MadeSafeCoin, Nexo, Theta, EngineCoin, and Decred. Let's see what the market cap today is, brothers. Where are we at here? 269.0 on the market cap. And yesterday we were at 264.5, so that's a $4.5 billion jump in market cap. Let's see the total volume of the day, brothers. 51.0. Holy smokes. Wow. Yeah, exactly. I knew that. All right, so we went up in market cap. We went way down in volume. Uh, yesterday's volume, we were at 67.5 billion. Today we were at 51. Is that right? Is that 51? 
Yep, 51.0. So that is a seven, what is that, $16.5 billion tumble uh, in volume. So, but our market cap went up. So what that tells me, that's good news. Uh, that tells me, yeah, there were less players, but those that came, came and bought and hodled, right? It wasn't like the other day after the, uh, when the, when the uh, trade war with the risk off, where bang, everyone, yeah, they ran, right? It was super high volume with a crash, meaning they came in to sell, right? So this is good news uh, on, uh, yeah, good news, all right? Yes. I mean, on a day-to-day -day basis, it you know it doesn't matter. But look, look, look. All right, let's go. What do you got? Binance. Bang. Look. Binance remove U.S. resident ban. Plans U.S. launch in a month or two. So, you know, here in America, we're not supposed to be able to use Binance at the end of September. But, I don't know. They're saying it says removes the U.S. resident ban. So, <laughs> let's check it out. All right, let me get a sip first. I mean, usually I don't talk about exchanges and crap like that at all, actually, about listings or any bullshit like that. But just the only reason is just because, well, it's so important. I notice all of you, most of you are on Binance, right? So I just wanted to show you this, keep you updated. Because I heard we we're supposed to be out of it by September. All right, but watch this. As Binance, <clears throat> as Binance CEO confirmed that it's an American that its American branch uh, will open within a month or two. The exchange also appears to have removed the previously reported ban for U.S. residents on its main trading platform. So, in an interview with Cheddar on Thursday, Binance CEO Chang Peng Sao said about the planned U.S. regulated exchange that there are a lot of things in flux, but I have, oh, but I would say we'll launch in a month or two. However, as reported in June, Binance has already communicated to their customers that U.S. residents will be prohibited from using the platform starting from September 12th. So September 12th, we're not allowed to use it anymore. I think you can still store your stuff and move it, but we're not going to be allowed to trade or make deposits or buy or sell. You can just have it there and move your stuff, but that's it. Um, the announcement sparked concerns in the crypto community as it would leave U.S. traders unable to use Binance's services if the U.S.-based exchange, based exchange is not operational by that date. So... You know, yeah, the transition, right? You're going to leave a space between the time when, you know, you kick us off of your Binance and then the time you open up the new one for us over here, right? Um, unable to trade, blah, 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 U.S. traders. Unable to use Binance's services if the U.S. Based, is, based exchange is not operational by that date. As it now seems, it will not be. So according to various estimations, 20 to 30% of Binance.com users are from the U.S., now, however, Binance's terms of use, last time revised on August 15th, so today is August 17th, 5.06 a.m., East Coast Time America. Um, now, however, Binance's terms of use, last time revised on August 15th, suggests that the exchange has already softened its, 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 blah, 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 <laughs> has already softened its stance on the issue, removing any explicit mention of prohibition of U.S of use for U.S. Uh, persons. So I'm not going to read all this, but you see how it says here, it goes, by accessing the service, you, you said that you're not on a sanctions list, you're not being sanctioned by the government, blah, 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 the Treasury Department isn't after you, blah, 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 you're not on a de denied persons list. So that is, that's what the wording is right now on Binance. That's what it says. Yeah, but before Binance just said, and here it is, compared to the words in June, which just stated that, Binance is unable to provide services for U.S. persons, just straight up, right? Back in June, they were like, look, look, sorry, bro. But you notice now they're saying, well, you know, they're softening it, right? Like, well, as long as you're not wanted by the U.N. Security Council, as long as you're not a, 
a specially designated individual, as long as you're not sanctioned by, you know, you're not on the, the economic sanctions list, right? Maybe you'll, you know. So this is interesting. So, and so compared to what it did say, which was just straight up, look, Binance is unable to provide services to any U.S. person. Bottom line, right? And so, CryptoNews.com has reached out to Binance for comment. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. So, although not yet confirmed by Binance, the change might indicate <clears throat> that the exchange is working to make the transition for U.S. traders over to its new U.S.-based exchange as smooth as possible. After all, prohibiting users... U.S. traders from using Binance.com before Binance U before Binance U.S. is operational may be considered too big of a risk for the company, as many traders could take the opportunity to move to other U.S.-based exchanges like Coinbase or Kraken, and that's what I think. I think they're softening it. I think they're going to let America. Uh, they're going to let us stay until the day you can transition over because they don't want people. You know, what are you going to do? You're not going to stop trading just because. Binance stops you just all right I'm gonna go trade somewhere else so Binance doesn't want to lose those customers and I think I believe I think I agree with this I think that's why we have this new language here I think that's why this whole new language came right uh just sort of to give some leeway to keep the Amer to keep uh, Americans until you know the full transition so Binance and then blah 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 just this is a bunch of speak we're gonna skip that crap and then Binance will enter the U.S. market via partnership with local company BAM Trading Services. Binance itself does not comment on the ownership of the company. Chang Peng Zhao also confirmed that he has no legal, no legal titles or an operational role there. All right. However, according to the CEO, the American branch won't initially launch in New York because it has not obtained a bit license from the New York Department of Financial Services. Oh, our friends at the NYDFS, you remember those letters NYD. F S. <laughs> All right. So, anyway, so that's just. I just thought that'd be interesting if you're a, if you're a Binance user here in America. Um, it looks like they're softening it. It. I, it looks like they're not gonna kick us out on the twelfth, maybe, but you know, slowly transition us out. You know, because they don't want to lose. They're not gonna want to lose business to uh. You know, things like Coinbase and Kraken, right? So that's what it looks like. So just a little heads up for the American holders. Look, look, and Binance users in general. All right. You know, we don't talk about exchanges and stuff here, but it's in so many views that I thought I would just mention that. All right, but let's get to this. Boom, Goldman Sachs analyst say that it's time to buy Bitcoin. Yeah, I told you guys, look, the analysts are coming. <laughs> yes, brothers. All these hedge fund guys, all these institution guys, that's why when I tell you you're going to be rich, don't worry. Like when they're analysts, don't fuck around. I tell you right now, those guys, they've analyzed this whole market already. They know every single crypto, every single thing they're doing. They know. And that's why when I tell you, if you have working product, <laughs> when they finally arrive, when we finally get regulated so they can come get these small caps, that's why I say, like, don't worry, you're going to be loaded. Because they, they're not idiots. They have armies armies of these things called analysts and that's what they're gonna do when they get here yeah the hedge fund guy's gonna look over at his analyst and say what should we get into no oh, right here sir v chain's looking very good walmart onboarding this onboarding all right get us into some v chain right he's gonna tell his trading desk boys get us into some v chain what else we got iota idols looking really good onboarded boys get us into some iota like that's how it's gonna be just boom boom his analysts are gonna look look sir look at look at look at the data sir Bang, bang, and he's going to direct his trading desks to buy, buy, buy. So, look, look, let's see what they're telling their trading desks to buy, buy, buy. Look, look. Hold on, I got to get hyped. Why am I so quiet? So chill. Fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy about what I'm about to read you. I should be more bang. All right, hold on. Let me get a sip. A good sip. Let me do a, a big one. Yeesh. Whew, let's do this. Actually, I can't do a big one. That's too gross. All right. Let's check it out. Oh, and just, you know, obviously, you know Goldman Sachs is a huge mega bank, all right? 
mean, just in case you didn't know who they were. <laughs> I mean, that's why I'm reading it. This is a, a mega, mega bank, you know, like J.P. Morgan, you know, mega. All right. I wouldn't give a shit if it was just some little shitty little bank like that. <clears throat> I mean, these are the kind of banks with armies of analysts, armies. That's all these people do is just sifting through trading opportunities, sifting through companies to buy, sifting through assets to buy, analyzing data yeah, all day. That's all. That's why they're called analysts, right? All day long. Those are the number crunchers. Those are the bean counters. Yes, yeah, so that's where the brains of the operations are at. The traders making the trades? Yeah, yeah, that's just the mechanical dumb fuck shit. This is where the where where a bank makes its money. It's analysts. All right, that's where it makes its money. The trading desk boys, all right, you just tell them what to buy and they go buy it, right? All right, get us into this, boys. Hey, boys, get us into some gold. Get us into some silver. I want a few swaps. Let's get in some options. Let's go. Chop, chop. All right? Yeah, they're just monkeys. They just, okay, bop, bop, bop. Yeah, the money is made from the analyst, all right? How does the guy, how does the hedge fund guy know what to buy? Yeah, his analysts tell him, show him the numbers, right? I mean, he's no fool either, but yeah. You're, where you make your money in your bank are your analysts. The fucking trading desks are just the guys executing your shit. All right, anyways, guys, let's get to this. So Goldman Sachs Securities Division analysts and a note to investors have shared a bullish attitude toward Bitcoin. They even encourage investors to buy Bitcoin on the dip, on this dip. Yeah, yeah sound familiar? By the dip, idiot. BTDI, boy. Look, look. Recently, three hours capital. There we go. Now it's starting. The fuel is kicking in. Look. Recently, three hours capital, three arrows capital CEO, Sushu, has shared the Goldman Sachs note, which was sent out to investors. In the note, Goldman Sachs analysts suggest that buying this dip coin, oh, fuck, dip coin, <laughs> buying this Bitcoin dip is of prime opportunity. The note itself consisted of a Bitcoin CMI futures chart and a comment from the uh, from the analysts. So, what it what is this the guy? Oh, this is so this is the oh this is the CEO right here. His tweet. He said, "What is more surprising than Goldman Sachs has a bullish target on BTC, that they have any target at all, or that they use Elliott wave, or that they use Elliott wave theory." I'm personally more surprised they can't be bothered to use a chart that includes weekly price action. All right, whatever. He's just complaining about whatever. That's a bunch of bullshit. So first of all, the fact that Goldman Sachs is sending out crypto, <clears throat> in, sending out crypto, is sending out crypto. That's what it says. In this particular case, Bitcoin advice. Oh, sending out crypto advice. All right. In this particular case, Bitcoin advice to their investors is mind blowing. But that's the institutions. This is Goldman Sachs. Right? Like, regular people like you and I, we can't bank at Goldman Sachs. You know what I mean? That is big, big money. Big, big dogs. Like, I told you about what an accredited investor is, right? Here in America, to be in a hedge fund, you have to get registered as an accredited investor. You have to apply to the government here in America and prove to them that you can lose how many millions of dollars, blah, 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 and you won't be hurt. That's how powerful like being an accredited investor is yeah that's what goldman sachs those are the kind of people that goldman sachs deals with and they're telling their people to buy crypto but buy bitcoin unbelievable unbelievable do you understand it's goldman telling these guys go get it yeah when you hear goldman sachs tell you like what if you were on the sidelines about crypto or whether it was real or not you're like goldman's telling me you're all those players now are like fuck it it do you understand what I'm saying? When Goldman says to do it, it's no joke, all right? Um, yeah, you know what I mean? People take it seriously. You know, they're a mega bank, you know, mega. So listen, first of all, the fact that Goldman Sachs is sending out crypto, in this particular case, Bitcoin advice to their investors is mind-blowing. Also, the fact that they are seeing it as a bullish pattern and they are using the Elliott Wave Theory indicators on their Bitcoin chart is also a big surprise. I mean, I don't know what it's a big surprise about that, but anyway, experts point out that the fact that the Bitcoin CMI futures chart is used means that this note is being sent out only to institutional investors. They told their big dogs. This is to their big dogs. Go ready to buy this dip. 
get ready to buy this dip. Big dogs. The biggest of the big dogs, brothers. Look. You can see this by the little gaps in the chart, which are weekends. That is the time when CMI Bitcoin futures markets are closed. All right, whatever. Uh, what does the note? So this is what Goldman Sachs told their people. So this is what an analyst report looks like, okay? It's, it's going to be boring. I mean, there's nothing exciting about this, but I'm just going to read it, all right? In short, the experts are quite bullish for Bitcoin to go up. Basically, they've set up a short-term a short short term price target of 13,971. Yes, specifically this one. In detail, they believe that Bitcoin will find a support level near $11,094 and $10,791. Once it does that, the analysts say that the chart has plenty of room to break out at least to 12,916 and possibly to a 2019 ATH all-time high of 13,971. So, <clears throat> Reaching these levels, this is what they write to their analysts. I mean, this is what the analysts have written people right here. Reaching these levels could mean completing a V-wave count from July bottom line. Watch for short-term top consolidation once satisfied. So I've taught you what consolidation and all that. Exactly, right? The retrace, consolidate, which I've been telling you. Yes. So, but this is a short-term prediction. <clears throat> what about long-term? Well, according to Goldman Sachs analysts, anything between 13,000 is an indi below 13,000 is an indication to accumulate. In other words, they're telling their people, they're telling their head, they're, they're, they're big, the big dogs, anytime it dips below 13, you buy. Anytime it dips below 13, you buy. Yo, guy. Yo, guy. <laughs> That's awesome. They'll make a floor. If these guys just keep accumulating at 13, all right, well, we'll just stay there. Well, or bounce up, but won't go below, right? Um, and they, they straight up say it. 13, what does he say? Wait a second. 13 is an indication to accumulate. That's what they are directing their big dog killers. Uh, they believe that we are in a similar run-up like we saw recently this year when Bitcoin went from 7,600 to around 11.9 in a matter of a couple weeks. So in the bigger scheme of things, huh, this might still be the first leg of another five-wave count similar to the trend that lasted from December 18th through June 19th. So you know about Elliott Waves, right? Elliott Waves is a bunch of bullshit, all right? But, I mean, Goldman Sachs is using it, so I'll explain a little bit. Elliott Wave does these, uh, it, you sort of count these five tops, right? And you keep moving the count. Uh, anyway, it's stupid. It, Elliott Wave is a bunch of garbage, but, I mean, you know, Goldman Sachs, I mean, Goldman Sachs is obviously using it, but, um, Anyway, it's garbage. So anyway, also another thing which recently was highlighted, Bitcoin loses, loves 30% pullbacks. Some experts and analysts have noticed that after a healthy 30% pullback, Bitcoin always have recovered, and this is even considered as a normal investment strategy. Hence, it is 100% sure that Bitcoin will have a run-up if it falls by approximately 30%. So that's what they're saying. Whenever, whenever Bitcoin drops 30, yo, that's the dip you buy right there. That is the dip you buy right there. And so this is, who's this guy? So this guy tweets, three certainties in life, death, taxes, buying the 30% pullback on Bitcoin will provide solid ROI. <laughs> yes. So in short, <clears throat> Goldman Sachs says that we, are, we all need to buy Bitcoin. But as usual, only the time will show whether the advice is good or not. Yes, yes, but bang, like that. The analysts, Goldman Sachs analysts, have told this to their clients. Bang, Goldman Sachs analysts, to the mega money, to the big boys, to the biggest of the big boys. So obviously they told them to buy Bitcoin. I mean, they didn't tell them to go buy Ethereum or Litecoin or anything, but the fact that they're telling, that they, op like, you know, that they're just even advising to go buy crypto, man, right, is phenomenal, like, you understand, right? The fact that you're even saying that, like, is amazing. And so, um, yeah, that's all I can say about that. And so, oh, but what was interesting, I liked how they showed the, uh, you know, my favorite part of this article here is is this part here. When they tell their people anything below 13, you fucking buy that shit. Accumulate. <laughs> fucking buy that shit. 
Accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. Anything under 13. So with that kind of advice, uh, yeah, these guys are going to start pumping in some good money, man. They're going to start pumping in some real nice money. And you know how I know that? I know that because bang! Look, look! Man, bleeding! Look, look! Back says it is cleared to launch. Bitcoin futures next month. Now I know what you're saying. Yeah, Shamari. But you read that RSX story three weeks ago, and they said they were clear to launch. But the CFTC the next day said that they weren't. Are you sure this is true, Shamari? Now I know what you're saying. Now I know what you're saying. I woke up today, looked at my Twitter. Everyone tweeting me this story. We got a brother here. His name's Bob. Well, Bob doesn't believe in backed. Well, he believes today, but he didn't for a long time, and he would tell, ah, oh, fuck, this is not going to work. It's not going to work. Yo, had me believing the same thing. Tell you the truth, you guys sent me this story today. I was like, look, man, I don't give two fucks. Until I hear that people are actually using it, this isn't real. It's not happening yet. But then I thought, well, if they said they have approval, well, I should be able to go find it, right? You see, in, in here in America, we have what's called transparency in our government. Anything our government does, they have to post it on the internet for us to read, right? It's our tax dollars. You're doing our work. You're supposed to show us what work you're doing. And so I was like, look, look. Well, if it's true, well, I should be able to read about it, right? Bang! Here it is, brothers. It is official. You have no fear. This is it. Look at it. New York State. Look at my, my mouse up at the top left. New York State what? Department of what? Department of who? Department of where? Department of blood clot. Look, look. Department of Van Breeden. Department of Financial Services. This is the official. This is it. This is their press release. This is from their website. Because I was like, you know, fuck all this. I don't want to get too excited. And then later on, well, plus I didn't want to read the story and then have to read it on Tuesday. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. Actually, no, it's not approved. It looked like a fucking moron like the RSX story. I said, oh, fuck all this. I'm going to go look. Here it is, brothers. I dug it up. It's the truth. Here it is. This is the official press release. There it is. See it? This is the press release right there. So let's take a little peek. Shall we? Why not? Superintendent of Financial Services, Linda A. Lacewell, announced today that the New York State Department of Financial Services, oh, and they are our friends at the NYDFS now, has granted a charter under the New York banking law to backed trust company LLC to operate as a limited liability trust company. Bang! This approval de demonstrates New York's competitiveness as a hub of innovation and leadership in emerging time. All right, that's when they pat themselves on the back. DFS, the Depart Department of Financial Services, has authorized back to provide what? What did I teach you guys last night? Buy custody services. Buy custody services. What I tell you, told you about it. Without custody, there is nothing. Fucking nothing. There is no such thing as markets. <laughs> Are you crazy? And now Bact finally got it. That's what we're waiting for. Yeah, all of Bact was already set up. The whole thing's been set up since last November, right? They're waiting for the NYDFS approval for custody. They're waiting for their custody service to be NYDFS approved. All right? Now you understand the importance of custody. I mean, I know I preached on it last night. Holy. And the brothers that were here last year, they heard that same speech I said a hundred times last year. But that's the power. Do you see? Now that they got their custody, boom, here comes back. Now let's just read on just a little bit more. Um, So let's start again. DFF has also right. Little, little, little. DFS has authorized BACT to provide custody services for Bitcoin in conjunction with the launch of what? Physically delivered Bitcoin futures contracts. Physically delivered. Why is that so important? First of all, it brings liquidity to the market. But when they're physically delivered, delivered, it takes the coin out the market. Takes the coins out of the market. Urgh, creating scarcity. Creating price influx. So... Uh, BACT will serve institutional customers. Um, its Bitcoin futures contracts will be listed for trading on intercontinental exchange futures, blah, blah, blah. All right. Anyway, so that's it. Though Here it is. This is the, right here, this is the official NYDFS press office. Here's the release. It's official. BACT is coming. Nothing can stop it. Nothing can stop it. They're approved. Boom, boom, approval. So now let's read here, though. All right, I just wanted to show you the proof. I was like, because, I, you know, it's true, man. I mean, these guys keep saying things are going to launch, and then they never launch. And so, 
You know, today I just said, fuck all this. I'm going to go find out for myself. Is this thing approved or not? I'm not going to. Plus these crypto sites, you know, I always complain. These little crypto nerd sites, you know, they, you know, they don't do much due diligence in their reporting. Let's put it that way. And so I had to go confirm. But that's why you're here with me, brothers. That's what I'm talking about. That's what always on duty means. <laughs> that's what always on duty means, motherfuckers. Look, look, brothers. Oh, man, this is such good news. Bye institutions oh and here they come and let me tell you something because it's not just that it's physically settled futures which are great but it's that it's backed okay backed it's controlled by ice ice is the one who runs the new york stock exchange meaning when the these institutional investors oh they are going to feel perfectly safe bringing their money to back perfectly safe i'll tell you right now the fucking ceo of backed he probably has lunch and shit with these guys all the time. Oh, yeah, they've been to each other's kids' bar mitzvahs and stuff. Mm. See each other on the country club, on the golf course, all the time. They're going to feel perfectly safe, right? Like the RSX one, the RSX futures and those other futures, sure, they want to offer it to institutions. But really, would mega institutions go to those? Mm, maybe, probably, but... Will they go to back? Oh, you're fucking right they are. They're gonna they're gonna they're they're gonna b- about to pile in. They're about to pile in. Oh yeah. And backed, remember we talked about, about insurance yesterday. I guarantee you, backed probably has a hundred billion dollar insurance. If you're a hedge fund, a hundred billion or less, pff, no problem, buddy. Sign up with backed and have at it. Launch your fucking trading desks. Have at it. Have at it. Unleash your fucking killers. Yeah. Oh, that's why it's the beauty is the backed one. The backed one, that's going to bring, this one here, oh man, it's going to bring us so much money. And let me tell you something, people from around the world, other, other dudes from around the world who want to get in on this, and they'll do some, re- do some regulatory arbitrage, backed is the kind of thing where I would do regulatory arbitrage. You know what I mean? Like if I'm Canadian, a Canadian hedge fund, and I want in, sure, I'll register down here and fucking get in on the backed game. Right, I could do the trading from back home. It's not like you got to move here, right? You know, if I'm, if I'm French, or anywhere, anywhere, I don't give a fuck who you are. If I'm a hedge fund guy anywhere in the world, and I know that ICE is running a Bitcoin futures and I want in on Bitcoin futures, you're fucking right, I'll do some regulatory arbitrage and get in on this. I'll get in on this. And that's what makes this so amazing, is that, like I said, man, these are the guys that run the New York Stock Exchange. I really want you to get that. Right, New York Stock Exchange is the pillar of America. I mean, when you think of America, what do you think of? Right, the Statue of Liberty. New York Stock Exchange, McDonald's, right? In that order, right? <laughs> that's how it goes. And uh, that's why this is, it, it's so amazing and so important. All right, let me get a sip. Let's get into it. I mean, all the big money is going to come now. All the big, they're not going to be afraid. Any big guy who wanted to get into this space, who wanted to onboard and get in here, yeah, well, bang. They have no fear. No fear at all. In fact, I'll tell you the truth. Eris X and those other futures. I can guarantee you right now, even if Eris X had come online, yeah, motherfuckers would have been like, uh, I'll wait for the backed one. <laughs> you damn right they would. I bet you. Right? No one's going to wait now. But if Eris X had been the first one to come with the futures, I bet you some big dogs would have been like, mm. I'm going to wait for the one run by ICE. Because <laughs> that's what they're familiar with. You know, they they know those New York Stock Exchange boys. <clears throat> All right? They know they're real players. They know that it'll be safe. It'll be secure. It'll be run proper by professionals, you know, like, yes, brothers. All right, let's get to the story. All right, you going to fucking read the story, Shamari, or what? All right, all right, brothers. <laughs> I'm just so happy. I am so, today, this week was a great week. All right, man, let's just fucking, let's, okay, let's just read. Look, look, Backed has been, boom, cleared for launch. The Intercontinental Exchange's young subsidiary announced Friday that it had acquired a New York State trust charter through the NYDFS, the New York State Department of Finance Services. Bye, look, look, bye, look, look, I'm bleeding. Yes. And uh, the approval 
clears the way for the company to begin offering its highly anticipated, oh man, it's so highly anticipated, <laughs> physically settle Bitcoin futures contracts. The company intends to launch its product on September 23rd. So there we go. We're going to get official launch. Boom. September 23rd. All right. Back to first unveiled later. Okay. So we already know the whole story. All right. All right. Let's just read. Fuck it. Back to first unveiled last August has been working on regulatory approvals to begin offering the product over the past year. It intends to offer two types of contracts. I know. I know. But just for new people, a daily and a monthly contract, both will be settled at the backed warehouse, a part of the New York Chartered Trust Company. Uh, in a blog, post Friday, back CEO, Kelly Loeffler. Oh, and by the way, I'll just tell you this. The CEO of ICE, the, the company that owns Backed, yeah, that's her husband. So it's like a family business. The husband is, is the CEO of, uh, of ICE. And he put his wife as the CEO of Bact. I mean, not that there's a problem with it. I'm sure they're, she's a competent person, so I don't care. But I'm just saying, you know, it's kind of a family business almost. You know what I mean? Except it's huge. Anyway, whatever, man. Look, in a blog post Friday, Bact CEO Kelly Loeffler wrote, Our contracts have already received the green light from the CFTC through the self-certification process. And user acceptance testing has begun with approval by the New York State Department of Financial Services to create back trust company, a qualified what? A qualified what? Custodian. Backed became a custodian. Well, a part of their company and not the whole company, but the backed warehouse will do what? Will custody Bitcoin for physically delivered futures, she said. This offers customers unprecedented regulatory clarity. Oh, yeah. And security. Fucking right alongside a regulated, globally accessible exchange in a market underserved by institutional grade infrastructure. Look, look, bang, look, look, bang, bang, and bleed it, bang. You remember the fucking shit we read the other day too? You remember. Remember it said it's going to be in 28 countries. Oh yeah. That means whales from 28 countries just got unleashed today. Forgot about that, huh? Actually, I forgot about that till right now. <laughs> That's why I'm bringing it up like I knew. Like I remembered. Look, I just remembered that. Remember we read about that the other day? Why would I read that? Right? I read that shit to you just the other day. Right? Remember when I was reading and I was like, what the fuck? It's going to be, yeah. Right? On, on, on August 13th, I read to you, the back was coming in Q3. Well, which was, we weren't sure about that yet. I remember when I read that story, if you go to the 13th show, the August 13th show, yeah, man. Remember we read? It said 28 countries. What does that mean, Shamari? Ha. Huh. That means there's 20. I, first of all, let me. All right. So let's just start right here. Holy shit. I got to calm the fuck down. What it means is. Ha, ha, look, look. Look, look. What it means is. There, there are 28 countries out there that are about to have their institutional whales unleashed on us. Huh. Huh. Oh, and their whales. Their whales know who the fuck who ICE is. Everybody knows. I mean, they run the New York Stock Exchange. If you're a player, if you're a market killer, of course you know. You know what the fuck. You're not going to be afraid. You're going to put your money. If you want into crypto, backed is the safest place you will ever, as an institutional guy, that you will ever be able to put it. <laughs> ever. 28 countries, guys. So now, now what I want to know is, you know, is I want to know which countries. I want to hear what 28 countries the, this is going to be in. Right? Right? Here come their whales, brothers. Here come their whales. That's what I told you, brothers. November, December. Because it takes time for the onboarding, it takes time for the testing and the onboarding, blah, blah, blah. And that's why I said November, December, you know, because things take time. But here they come. 28 countries, whales, are now going to have access to physically settled Bitcoin futures provided by the number one exchange operator on earth. Look, look, look. Look, 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 brothers. <laughs> brothers. Look, look, look. Here it comes. Here comes the money. I'm so happy. I'm fucking so, oh my gosh, and the fuel's kicking in. Okay, 28 of them. 
Now, that's the question. Who? Which ones? Which ones, motherfuckers? Oh, man. I'm going to dig. I'm going to find out. Oh, you know I'm going to find out. I'll find out. I'll, I'll, I'll list it right here. I'm going to dig around this weekend and find out. If I can, I'll tell you on Tuesday if I find it. Hell yeah. I mean, this is ice. So these aren't going to be some little shitty, not shitty countries, no country shit, but I'm just saying it's going to be quality. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's going to be some quality countries. You know, I'm hoping to hear words like UK. Whoa, London boys. <laughs> I'm hoping to hear words like Germany. <laughs> I'm hoping to hear words like Japan. <laughs> oh, shit. You know what I'm talking about? That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking France. Bang. I'm talking Italy. Bang. I'm talking South Korea. Bang. Hell yeah. Brazil. Bang. Canada. Bang. Australia. New Zealand. Bang and bang. Those are the names. Shit. That was only like 10 countries I mentioned. Yo. 28. All right, guys. This is so good. This is too good. This is the true beginnings of our money now. Like now it's the true beginnings. And also, I mean, let's on the other on the other on the other tip is just it lends legitimacy. Right? The NYDFS approved. Yeah, every every market player understands that now. Now every market player that sees this around the world, they're like, oh, America's for real, real now. Right? The NYDFS just approved, and, and they're not fucking around. You understand? So this is not only, you know, like I keep saying, I'm not dissing Aerosex. I keep bringing them up, but I'm not dissing them, but I'm just saying for Aerosex to get approved or something, eh, that's one thing. But when ICE comes on board and when the NYDFS approves them, that is complete legitimacy of the market. Complete. No whale, no market killer out there has any doubt now. I mean, if they doubted, First of all, Bitcoin's already on the Bloomberg terminal. You should have already known. But if you had any doubt now, that's gone. If you're a market player, uh, well, I don't think this crypto thing's going to work. I don't think that you know, they're done now. I tell you what happened right now. There's whales all around the world. They see that approval. They're like, holy shit, I got to get in. All the boys are going. They all know the party's starting now. I, I can't emphasize enough the importance of this one, one little approval. Yes. It can't be emphasized enough. <sighs> oh, brothers. <laughs> Here we go. All right, let's read on. I know. I know, I know. Let me get you. Let's get going. All right. Look. So Loeffler, the CEO of Back, she went on to add, uniquely backed Bitcoin futures contracts will not rely upon unregulated spot markets for settlement prices, thus serving as a transparent price discovery mechanism for the benchmark price for Bitcoin. Talked to you about price discovery before. Well, I gotta get the price from somewhere. So the importance of this differentiator is only amplified by reports of significant manipulative spot market activity and other concerns such as inconsistent anti-money laundering policies and weak compliance controls. In other words, she's like, we're not gonna use that bitch ass shit. We're gonna use some better stuff. Look, Loeffler, that's her CEO, told Coindesk Friday, that back's daily contract will be margined. Oh, leverage. Oh, come on. These boys don't even play without leverage. <laughs> look, look. And can provide an alternative to unregulated spot markets for traders. The daily contract is designed to provide a margined instrument, leverage instrument. Margin and leverage. You can you kind of use the same word, but not really, actually. Margin, you're borrowing money. All right. Actually, you shouldn't do that. Don't listen to what I just said. Margin, in other words, they lend you money to make a bigger bet, right? Of course, if you lose it, well, you got to pay it, right? So, <laughs> yeah. All right, so when you think about transacting on the futures exchanges, you're operating within a fully regulated, fully regulated, oh, sorry, federally regulated. There we go. That's the feeling. Federally regulated. And that's why these guys aren't going to be afraid. That's it. That's it. This is federally. That's it. You want in, you get in. And, that, and that's why I'm telling you. That's why I'm telling you. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Yeah, these backed futures are going to come on. I told you about November, December. Right? Yeah, yeah, these Bitcoin futures. Let me tell you something about next Q1. By end of Q1 next year, bang, Ethereum physically settled. Bang, Litecoin physically settled. Bang, Bitcoin cash physically settled. 
You remember that I said that. You remember Shamari fucking said that shit right there. By end of March, by end of Q1 next year, bye. Oh my gosh, Bact is going to unleash that. Oh, brothers, I told you get those large caps. Get the large caps, get the large caps, get the large caps. There's still time. These large caps are going to fly. Like, fly. Fucking what? what, what hold on. What, what the fuck we got going on over here? Hold on. Let me even talk. Shit. You've been talking, motherfucker. Look. Talk some more. <laughs> Look, brothers. Fly. When that, that money gets here, and they are pulling physically settled assets off the market, creating scarcity for us. Remember this. The 2017... Uh, um, weekend, uh, you know, weekend mania. What do I call that? The 2017 uh, retail mania, right? Um, <laughs> weekend mania. It was, but uh, retail mania. Yeah, it, 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 that's nothing compared to the amount of money that's about to come here. And so those prices that you saw back then, those are going to be blown away. And that's why I kept telling you guys last year, you know, get all the large caps you can before these institutions come because. We're not ever going to see these prices again. And so, you know what? What we got Litecoin at under 100? Pfft, you better get that shit. You better get that shit. I guarantee you Litecoin's going to be at like five, six, seven, eight, maybe a 1,000 by next fucking, well, maybe by Q, end of Q2, not Q1. <laughs> oh, yeah, your Ethereum? Oh, that's going to be over a grand by end of Q1 next year. Fucking right. Your Bitcoin, all-time highs. This is it. This is the beginning, like... This is the beginning of the true push for money now. Do you understand? Like, nothing's stopping it now. Like, fuck, I need a whole new one. Fuck all that. Look, your large caps. Yeah, I got that all time highs now and never looking back. We are never going to look back. So, if you can afford it, get some large caps before this thing launches. Once it launches, uh, the Bitcoins are going to fly first because, remember, these are Bitcoin futures. So it's only Bitcoin that's coming out of the market. I mean, this isn't going to do anything for your VeChain. Wow. Your ontologies or anything like that. Except that once Bitcoin goes up, you know, it sort of drags the market up. So we're going to have a little market drag thanks to Bitcoin going up. But um, your stuff's not going to explode yet. But your Bitcoin, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Ethereum are about to explode in November. All right, and going into Q1 next, going into Q1 next year, you watch. They're going to unleash, like I said, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash futures physically settled, right? Because once you have the approval of one, well, now you're allowed to custody anything. That was the key. That was the one. That's the part. It's getting to be able to the approval to do the one. Once you have the one, all right. Well, I'm just going to do the same thing. So you have approval for everything now. There's nothing stopping. Oh, guys, you guys. And 28 countries, remember that, 28 countries. Look, all right. So Loeffler, the CEO of BACT, didn't say how much leverage would be available. Yes, well, that's the, key. That's the good stuff. The leverage, that's that good stuff right there, brother. <laughs> we'll find out, of course, I'm gonna tell you, uh, on the margin contract. So such details are expected to be released in the coming weeks, all right. Oh, coming weeks, okay. I want to know which 28 countries, which 28 countries. As for Bax, monthly futures contract. Oh, okay, fuck all that. The forward price curve bullshit. All right, whatever, whatever. So the core service Bax will offer is secure and regulated. Bang! Custody. Man, it's so interesting. I went through the whole preaching last night with you about custody. Now you, so to teach you the importance. Bang. And now here you see it. That's what they're waiting for, to get regulated as a custodian. Custodian services, those are the guys that hold the money. Those are the ones that hold the money or the asset, whatever it is, you know, whatever kind of asset. <clears throat> Not just you know, cash necessarily. Alongside its institutional scale trading, she said backed itself is not an exchange, but rather will take advantage of its parents' firm's existing infrastructure. ICE Futures will therefore provide the actual exchange services while backed will be the warehouse to provide the custody services for its delivery. So remember I told you how, I told you, like, you know, uh, I mean, I taught you yesterday, right? Custody, it's a separate company, right? Like, it's a custody is a separate thing. And so what they're saying is here is, I, or backed, is going to be the, act, is going to be the custody. 
but ice futures will be where the actual traders go to trade so i'm assuming these guys are going to log in bap, bap, bap. they'll be trading on ice futures but their money is actually held in backed warehouse a backed custodian licensed regulated look federally regulated custodian all right that's what i was trying to teach you yesterday they're separate you always have to have them separate and that's what the problem was because backed the reason back took so long was because they wanted to custody themselves in-house and everyone that defeats the purpose of custody right the whole purpose of custody is the money is supposed to be somewhere else and then stuff is happening over there like separate right and uh but they figured it out bye look look all right so blah 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 they just talk about you know all the all the times they were not approved we're not gonna we lived through it i don't want to read it so lawler said friday that we have customers and clearing members already in the test environment, adding, we anticipate with the finalization of the September 23rd launch date, user acceptance testing will accelerate, and we will work with customers on onboarding and getting ready for day one. Bang! That's what I told you. September 30, September 23rd, they're going to begin onboarding and accelerating testing. And that's what I'm saying. September, October, let them have October. November, December, we are going to start seeing the money flow in. Oh, yes, brothers. November, December, brothers, get ready. November, December, we should see a steady, steady market rise. And like I said, coming into Q1, Q1 next year, you best believe BACT is going to offer physically settled Ethereum, Litecoin, bang, and Bitcoin Cash. You guarantee it. Bang. That's going to drag the market up, give us liquidity, take, uh, give us scarcity. Things are going to go good. Things are going to go good, brothers. <laughs> yes. So while Backed may be the first to market, the company faces. Oh, while Backed may be the first to market, the company faces competition. Derivatives provider Ledger X and TD Ameritrade Jack Backed Eris X are also looking to offer Bitcoin futures contracts to investors. Seed CX and True Digital are also working to launch forwards contracts a similar product. Yeah, well, I don't give a fuck about all that. Those mega, those mega monsters. They're not gonna give up. They don't give a fuck. I mean, the TD Bank one is, is kind of a decent one. Let me tell you something. For our mega money, I'm talking the mega. Yes, the mega, Shabari. Yes. I'm talking the 50, $100 billion hedge fund guys. That's what BACT is about to bring us. The megas. <laughs> Holy shit. The megas. Okay? The ones I've been preaching about here since the beginning of the show. All right? All these other little guys, yes, it's good. They're on Coinbase and they're doing whatever. And they have these little little prop desks and everything. No, no, no. This isn't prop desks. This isn't this isn't little mom and pop shops. This isn't fucking little you know little cowboys running around with a couple million here, a couple million there. I'm talking about the mega money. <laughs> yes, twenty million, fifty million, oh billion, fuck, billion, twenty, fifty. 100 billion. Yes. Like that, Shabari? Yes, brothers. Exactly that. <laughs> not, not. You really? Yes. Exactly that. And that's the beauty, brothers. In 28 countries. Look at this beautiful CEO. Look at her. She's gorgeous. <laughs> oh, man. She's my favorite person in the world right now. So, guys. Fuck. I mean, there's nothing. I, I guess I've explained it all. Here comes our money, and so let's just sit back, and uh, you know, we'll, uh, you know, let, uh, oh my gosh, just wait till November, man. I mean, it could happen earlier. I mean, if they start onboarding and the shit starts going in October, it could be sooner. But I think, you know, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was, maybe it will be October, but it won't be more longer than November. I'll tell you that. So, here we go, brothers. There she is, Kelly Loeffler. Yes, along with her and Mark Zuckerberg, man, my favorite people right now. <laughs> my two favorite people on earth. Look, look, let's get the notifications. Let's get shout outs. Let's talk. Bang. Look, look. Stallion, the fabulous, the wonderful, multi talented, multi fabulous. How could she be multi fabulous? You're either fabulous or not. That's how fabulous she is, fuckstick. She's so fabulous that she's multi fabulous what you know about that homeboy bye love you girl see you girl bye Here's what's been even talking about <laughs> bam love your brother see your brother bang oh yeah this is old news we talked about this already 
That's that tax bill. Remember the uh, the uh, the guys here? They want to um, what do they want it? They want it two things. You don't have to pay for the hard fork. You don't have to pay for taxes on the hard forks, and then something else. Anyway, whatever, man. I don't remember right now. Fuck, I'm too happy with the back thing. Fuck all that. Look, look. What's he talking about? <clears throat> oh, Coinbase announces that it accidentally saved the clear text passwords of over 3,000 customers due to a rare bug. So go make sure you can log into your Coinbase account, man. Your fucking passwords and shit. I think they said that Coinbase had to reset. Oh, here it is. Yeah, they had to reset 3,420 passwords. So go make sure yours isn't one of them. Fuck. That's what I'm telling you. This crypto market is so ghetto. And that's why buying things like this make it so great. They're going to have ghetto-ass bullshit, crackhead, fucking crack whore, crack house bullshit like this going on. Back is going to be solid, going to be sweet, oh, secure, safe, regulated. Oh, brothers. Look, look, brothers. We got to put up with this crackhead shit for a little bit, but not much longer now. Not much longer now. All right. What do we got? Freeman. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. What we got? 420. Bye, brother. Love you, brother. See you, brother. DP Entertainment. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. Son of a bitch. Look, look. Bye. Look, look. Bye. Look, look. Bye. Oh, look at this son of a bitch. Look at this son of a bitch right here. Huh? Oh, you ready now, huh? Oh, I know Ronkis is ready. <laughs> Ronkis is a killer. That's the guy's real name. Airdropper 007 is a killer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's a real market guy. Oh, hey. I can tell. I know what he's thinking now, too. Oh, we're about to slaughter this place. <laughs> look, look, brother. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. What do we got? What? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, where'd we go? Hold on. Where'd they go? Oh, there we are. Yes. What do we got? Master Barber Magazine. Bye. Look at him say. <laughs> September 23rd. Get your popcorn ready. Look, look, brother. I'm going to have a big box of it. Maybe I'll even bring it right here and just, boom, put a big bucket down here while I do the show. And this would be like this. Look, look brothers. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Back to the ride, brothers. Oh, guys, I love you. Look. Here we go, brothers. Bang, Master Barber. All right. What do we got? Bitcoin Street. Top crypto and altcoin news and info. Bang. See you, brother. Pop it hood. Bang, bang, bang. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bang. What else we got? Tigerfish. Oh, this is one of Poppy's crew. Whenever you see 464, that's the Poppywood crew. Those are the Tron lovers. Yes. It's always inviting you for stuff. <laughs> Look. Husband, father, patriot, businessman, investor, and strong believer in our 2A. All right, brother. Bang. Tim Bryan. Bang. See you, brother. Spy lady, Brenzi, bang. Yeah. Love you, girl. Bang. Okay, and then here's the story that I just read to you. Look at that. My favorite person right now. Mark Zuckerberg is bringing us the regulations because he scared the shit out of these. <laughs> he scared the shit out of the politicians with the Libra thing. Oh, and this girl's going to bring us 28 countries worth of solid gold standard, diamond standard whales. Wales, oh brothers, fuck! It's the more I'm talking. Wow, the fuel's kicking in now. Now it's getting too much. <laughs> My emotions are getting. Twenty-eight countries worth, brothers. Twenty-eight countries worth. That lady right there, her and her husband. Yo, man, we got to send them all a gift. Fuck, maybe go send them a Bitcoin. Damn, look, look. <laughs> wow, not a whole Bitcoin. Maybe I'll send them a couple V chain. Look, it's a token. Token of my appreciation. <laughs> look, look. Tim Bryan. You and, oh, so here's some other Tron stuff. We are celebrating our first year. We'll pick a 1,000 random winners for a bag of 1,000 Twix each. Whatever. And so just go follow, retweet, tag, blah, 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 and then you can win that stuff. Stallion. Oh, she loves her some, she loves her some Cardano there. See, I knew you guys. All you guys, whenever you guys show me your, your portfolios, all of you have either VeChain or uh, Cardano or both. And then you have other ones, Hollow and, you know, Iota or whatever. Just a bunch of other shit, right? But those are the two that I notice my viewers, the viewers that watch me, 
all of you have one of those two. It's it's amazing. It's it's really like over the year that I've been doing this and just sort of keeping track of what you guys show me in your portfolios, those are the two that every one of you seem to have. You either have both or one for sure. I don't know. Does it mean anything? But whatever. Look, a hacker claiming to be a security researcher hacked Binance, Jeremy's Twitter account. What? Oh, Jersey's Twitter account. Ow. Oh, well, fuck their Twitter. <laughs> fuck them and their Twitter. Look, look. Oh, you know what I need, though. Where is he? I'm going to go look for him. Oh, we're going to go hunt for some. You know we're going to look for. All right. First of all, let me say hi to some people. Look, look. Bang. See you, brother. Look, look. Bang. See you, brother. Look, look. My, my. Wait, where we go? My, my. Bang. See you, brother. But you know who we got to find. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to go look for him tonight. We're going to go look for him. Where is he? You hiding from me, homeboy? Where you at? There he is. Look, look. It's too much tonight. We have backed. We need a little bit of... Look, look. Oh, hey, look. Oh, shit. <laughs> look, look, brothers. It's too much. Now, you guys know, I don't go hunting for him. Tonight's too much. We had to go find him. We had to go find him. Let's see what he's saying. Oh, he's a happy motherfucker tonight. Oh, man, Brian is happy as a motherfucker. Look, look. Oh, he's happy. Oh, he's sitting there right now. He's sitting there right now transferring money to Coinbase. Oh, he's loading up a big old warehouse now. He saw back come out. Oh, I'll tell you right now. Well, let's have him tell us. <laughs> Why are you telling Shamari? Let him tell us. Yes. Look, look, brothers. Van Breeden! Van Breeden! Michelle! Oh, this is too good. Michelle! My son! My precious son! All that I live for. All that I need in the world. The light of my life. The light in my heart. Yes. And you know what it is. The fruit of my womb. <laughs> my son. You stay downstairs all the day. You sit on the computer. You talk to your mama. You don't even come and talk to your mama. Son. What are you doing downstairs? Holy. Look. Woman. Mama. Leave me, woman. Leave me. You know nothing of these things, woman. Mama, I've been downstairs. We had an 800-point crash with a trade war, Mama. Mama. Oh, shit. Mama, U.S. is maybe, Binance is canceling maybe the U.S. ban. Goldman Sachs, Mama, is telling them to buy the crypto. To buy the crypto, Mama. To buy the Bitcoin. And Mama, look. Oh, Mama, you better look at this shit. Look, look, Miss Van Brennan. Mama, BACT is going to bring on whales from 28 countries, woman. Holy shit. 28 institutional grade whales are... No, 28 whales. 28 countries worth, Mama. Mama, you ask me, what do I do downstairs? Mama, I am not only investing, but I am about to get rich. Rich. By investing in the cryptocurrency woman. Now leave me, woman. Bang. Oh, Van Breenen's happy. Bring me a sandwich. <laughs> Bang, Van Breenen. I had to look for him on a night like backed. Look how happy Van Breenen. Van Breenen knows. You see how he knows? He knows. 28 countries coming online. Look, at institutional grade, backed institutional. I mean, ICE institutional grade. The people who run the New York Stock Exchange institutional grade. 
know what I mean? A tried, tested, and proven company. You know what I'm talking about? It's not that, oh, well, we have institutional grade, but we're some new company and I just got approved for something. No, everybody knows that ICE knows how to run big shit. I mean, they run the New York Stock Exchange. Actually, and many other exchanges. It's not just the New York Stock Exchange. They actually run a bunch of exchanges around the world. And that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to go look at what exchanges they run because what I'm assuming is, is that, well, whatever countries they're running exchanges in, I'm assuming that's probably the 24 countries they're going to launch in. You see what I'm saying? You already have the exchange there, right? And you notice from this story here that they said that, right, BACT is going to do the, sorry, hold on. BACT is going to do the custody part, right? Is going to, BACT, right, the core service of BACT will be just custodying, right? That's the part, that's the custody, but the actual trading happens on on um, <clears throat> on ICE's futures exchange, right? Well, ICE is all around the world. So I'm assuming, now I'm assuming, I mean, I'm going to look and I'm going to tell you. I mean, I'm going to dig up the information. I'm going to tell you. But, whoops, whoops, sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. But what I'm assuming is that these 20, hold on, where were we? That these 24 countries that BACT is going to launch in are where they already have their stuff. I mean, where they're already running exchanges because the trades happen on ISIS futures exchange, right? And so, you know, um, those guys, I don't know where ICE is in, in the world, but if you're in Germany or in the UK or, you know, South Korea, Japan, whatever, you know, and you have an ICE thing there, you'll be able to do this. I mean, those are the 24 countries. I'm assuming, I'm assuming, I'm going to look. I'm just so excited. All right, let me just get the fuck out of here. Hold on, hold on. I'm just getting too crazy. <laughs> look, look, let's just get the fuck back like this. All right, I'm too much. It's too much. And that's why, what I think, like, they offer, they have exchanges all over the world. Well, if they're going to do it through their, their, their exchange here, I'm assuming, all right, they're just going to put their other exchanges online, attach all those exchanges to the custody. There you go. Global. Global. Global institutional grade. And like I said, all those whales in the other countries, your New York approved, NYDFS approved, they're not stupid. They're good to go. Good to go. Like, you know, they're players. They're, they're market killers. They understand what NYDFS approval means. You know what I mean? They're not, you know what I'm saying? They understand. Oh, brothers, man. This has been a great week. Trade war. Backed. Gambrinen. Shit. It's been so good. All right. Let's summarize this motherfucker. Oh, man. November, December, brother. Okay. Let's just get there when we get there. Because I'll just sit here and keep saying that. <laughs> I'll repeat that for the next 10 minutes. All right. So, ban Binance US ban canceled. So is it canceled? I don't think it's canceled, but I see what the guy in the article is saying. They're going. They're not just going to kick us out of the of their their regular Binance thing. Americans, I mean, we're I'm an American. Well, obviously, if you've been watching this, you should know that. But they're not going to kick the Americans out of their uh, thing. I don't think right away. They're going to wait so they can transition people. So they change that language in the uh, the policy on their website, saying, well. As long as you're not, what was it? Um, as long as you're not on the sanctions list or, um, uh, you know, being sanctioned by the Treasury Department or something, you know, we'll let you do it. And so I think they're trying to find a sneaky way to just keep Americans on board until their American Binance comes on, hoping that Americans will just jump from the old one to the new one, to the new U.S. one, because they don't want a gap in service, right? If they kick us out here, but the service starts way over here, well... If I'm an American trader, I'm not waiting till your shit done. Fuck it. I'll go to Coinbase. I'll go to Kraken. I'll move my money elsewhere. I got. I don't get time for shit. Money doesn't sleep. I don't got time for that shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Money doesn't sleep. Yo, you ain't let me make that bread? Pfft, I'll go make it somewhere else, motherfucker. And once I'm making it somewhere else, well, pfft, what are you talking to me for? I'm already making money over here now. You see what I'm saying? So I think that's what they're doing. They're trying to make it overlap. So we got to kick the Americans out, but let's let it overlap until we open up their exchange for them, you know? I mean, it makes it's proper business sense to me. You don't want to just lose customers by kicking people off, right? So we'll see. I just thought that was interesting because, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but 
I know most of you use Binance. Fucking Poppy would scare the shit out of me every fucking half a week about how he can't get his money off Binance. So I know you guys use it, and I use it, and so, well, well, thought I'd update you. All right. So Goldman Sachs, holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, I didn't even tie this together. I didn't even see this. I didn't even see this. Goldman Sachs is telling their big whales to buy Bitcoin. Well, if you're a big whale, you need a place to buy it. Where the fuck are you going to buy your Bitcoin? Backed. Holy, I didn't even see that. I didn't even see that. I didn't even see that. Goldman is advising their major whales to buy Bitcoin. Well, major whales need a place to buy it. Ha! Huh. Buy! Where are they going to get it? Backed. I mean, that's the only place. I mean, like I told you, you know, the, the backed is the only thing that's going to have, you know, $100 billion insurance and shit like that. I mean, they can't get that shit off Coinbase or whatever. Look! I didn't even see that. That's right. Goldman Sachs is telling the people to buy Bitcoin. So, first of all, that's just amazing in and of itself. And that's why I really brought up the story. Just like, wow, Goldman, you know, they're analysts. Like, people, you have to understand, like, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the markets, analysts, people listen to them a lot. Right? Like, that's why, you know, they send analyst reports. That's what I read to you. Yeah, they send reports. That's part of the service of being a Goldman Sachs customer is that you get reports from analysts. You don't have to go to some fucking stupid little website to read some bullshit. No, you actually get emailed a report from a professional analyst, right? That's part of the Goldman Sachs service, you know? Yes, you know, have, you know, in, in proper institutional grade analysis. <clears throat> and they're telling them to buy Bitcoin. Amazing, amazing. So that's putting the, the, the thought of buying Bitcoins and crypto in general into the minds of these whales. And guess what? Now the Goldman Sachs told you go buy it. Well, they're going to look around. Well, we're going to go buy this shit at. Oh, and when they see ICE, the people who run the New York Stock Exchange. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even see that, the connection there. That's crazy. That's crazy. And that's, uh, that's amazing. So, first of all, Goldman Sachs advises buy Bitcoin. Bang. Now, nah, let's get to backed. Backed. Cleared to launch. I showed you the NYDFS approval letter. Actually, we're going to sign off on that letter. Fuck all that, right? I showed you the approval letter. It's real, and you can't stop it now. You can't stop it now, all right? It's real. That's it. That's it. And so, uh, <clears throat> wow, but that's amazing. I didn't tie that in. Goldman Sachs telling their people to buy Bitcoin because those are big mega, mega guys, right? Well, if you're a mega guy, you need to go to a place where... That services mega folk. Well, who's going to service mega folk? <laughs> yes. Bact is going to serve mega folk. And now Goldman's telling their mega folk to go get Bitcoin. Did you see that? I didn't even tie that in. I didn't see that. This is perfect, guys. It even gets more perfect. More perfect. So look, brothers. Fuck, I know I've preached about back too much already. Here we go, guys. 28 countries, whales. Ugh. Finally, like, look, we talked about this. We got fucking champion nations. These motherfuckers ain't doing shit. Not doing fucking shit. <laughs> they ain't fucking doing fuck all. I mean, fuck a whale. Motherfucker, just send me a tuna. All right? Not doing nothing. Lazy. Lazy investment community. Lazy investors in the crypto blockchain champion nation. What are you guys doing there? You guys aren't trying to build some futures? You're not trying to get some swaps, some options? Hmm? Some leverage? What, what the fuck are you guys doing? You've been fucking regulated for six months already. Malaysia, Thailand, I'm looking at you. Philippines, Indonesia, U2 Bahrain. All of you fuck sticks. Not doing a fucking thing. Well, thank God. America's here. Ha <laughs> ha. America. Fuck yeah. Coming again to save the motherfucking day, yeah, America. Fuck yeah. Freedom is the only way now. <laughs> look, look. It's America coming to save the day. Who's coming? Back is coming. Where's back from? America, baby. Going to bring us that. Bang. Going to bring us our fucking money. It always takes, right? It always takes the Americans. Right? We always got to come in and save the day. 
right? You guys start sea calling around. We got to come and save the day, <laughs> right? You motherfuckers start blowing up buildings. We got to send our troops in to save the fucking day. You fucking crypto nerds start building blockchains, fucking building exchanges, no money coming in. America's got to come in and save the day, backed by, yes, we've deployed our backed, we've deployed our backed battalion to save the day for you crypto fucks. Look, look, it's America, baby. We always come to save the day. I know, I know, it's arrogant, but it's true. It's fucking true. You fucking know it. You fucking know it all around the world. Yes, and once again, once again, you welcome world. <laughs> America, coming again to save the motherfucking day. Look, look, so let me let you get you back to your wives and lives. Oh, I could just talk about this back thing all night, but or all day whenever you're watching this. That's how it goes, brothers. America. America. Come to save the fucking day. Where was that money coming from? I don't see any money. I don't see any fucking money. Oh, I hear a lot of talk. Oh, I hear a lot of yap yap. We're out in these parts. Oh, I hear a lot of yap yap yap. Well, who's bringing the hard currency? <laughs> look, look. Who's bringing the bread? Who's bringing the hard money? America, baby. Look, look. Coming again. Coming to save the day once again, brother. <laughs> so, look, let me get the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah. I'm just, it, it, it's just so true, though. Like, what the fuck? We're not even regulated. We're not even regulated. And we're about to unleash 28 countries' whales. 11 countries, no whales. We're not even regulated. Fuck that. We're so good. Our, we have one company that's like, fuck all this. We're going to unleash 28 countries worth of whales on these fucking crypto nerds right now. Look, look. Brothers, I love you guys so much. I want you to have the greatest weekend that you've ever had in your life. Heck, you eat the best food. Bang. You get the best fucks. Bang. You drink the best stuff. It's here comes your money, okay? Yes. All thanks to us, America. So look. <laughs> look, look. Let's, ah, let's chill and kill it. Let's get you back to your wives' lives. Subscribe below, press the bell. You get automatic notifications when I do the show. The greatest show on earth, the greatest show in the multiverse. Holy shit. And look, look, I love talking money, love talking crypto. This is the favorite time. Oh my gosh. And out of all the favorite time, look, doing this show is my favorite time of the day. But I'm gonna tell you something. Out of all the shows I've done, this story was the favorite time of all the favorite times <laughs> of my day doing the show. Bang, I love you brothers. Bang, I thank you for having me in your home. And look, look, fuck sticks. Keep accumulating. Oh, you better. You better. You better. It's over now. I mean, here it is. The game is on. Bang. The, the race is being run. Look, look. Subscribe below. Oh, we already said all that shit. So look, guys. <laughs> oh, man. I'll see you on Tuesday. I love you so much. Remember, you have millions and billions and billions and billions of dollars coming from 28 countries, and nothing is going to stop this shit now. Nothing is going to stop this motherfucker now. So look, look, brothers. My name's Shamari Clark. In case you didn't notice, I'm the greatest. Look, bang, I'm always on duty. I'll see you guys Tuesday. And I'm going to leave you with this little picture right here. Love you guys. You're welcome, world, America. We came to save the day. Bang, and we have done just that. Because we're always on duty. Over and out. <laughs>